Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 316 of our grade 2 of the famous series. In this episode, we return to the Heritage Memorial Park in Taguig City in search of notable individuals like our heroes, famous celebrities, musicians, politicians, sportsmen and businessmen interred in this part of Metro Manila. Come, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of a recording artist that was tagged as the Queen of Visayan Songs, who released many Visayan, Tagalog, and English songs from late 1970s to early 1980s, and best remembered in her unforgettable Christmas song titled, Miss Kita Kong Christmas. Located at the western wall of the Heritage Park Pavilion, Columbari, we found the crypt where the urn of singer Susan Fuentes was inert. Susan Fuentes Toyogon was born in Occidental Mindoro on the 1st November 1954 but grew up in Agusan. She was a recording artist that was tagged as the Queen of Visayan Songs, who released many Visayan, Tagalog, and English songs. She is best remembered in her unforgettable Christmas song titled, Miss Kita Kong Christmas. At young age, Fuentes already joining amateur singing contests in Butuan City. She attended high school at Agusa National High School and after graduating high school, she moved to Manila to pursue her singing career. Fuentes released many albums and hit singles under JEM Recording Company. These include 1977 design album titled Awitong Bahandi with some of hit songs like Kanhi Ako Pinangga. Gikan pa ako sa bukid. Gikan pa ako sa bukid. Kay dito sa among buntot, sinansan day ipasulog. Sana uso tang uro. 1978 design album titled Halad na ko, including some hit songs like Dahong Laya. In 1978, Bisayan Christmas album titled Mananay Gone with Haji Alejandro and Apo Hiking Society, including the song Mananay Gone. Also in 1978, Fuentes released a hit single, Miss Kita Kong Christmas. Ang Disyembre ko ay malungkot At miss kita Kahit nasaan na 
1980 Tagalog album title, mga awiting walang kupas, including hit song like Bakas ng Lumipas. Kapag ikaw ay umibig, di mo ba naramdamin ito? At kung ito ang siyang tuna na mangyari sa puso, 1980 Visayan album titled Yukbo sa Bisayahong Awit together with Pilito Corales with some hit song including Usahay. Usahay magkadamgo ako kahigot mga anong damgohon po ka sa ako 1982 English album titled Straight From The Heart featuring American hit songs of the 70s like Smokes Gets In Your Eyes. Ask me how I knew my true love was true. I of course replied, you must realize. From the mid-1980s, Fuentes singing career is told in order to raise her own children. Subsequently, Fuentes struggled with her life as she battled substance abuse including drug addiction and heavy smoking. She also suffered depression when her children was taken away by her partner. In August 2012, Dulce organized a fundraising event to pay Fuentes medical bills for her kidney operations. Walang naman talaga ng dalawin ako eh. Hindi naman talaga pera. <laughs> Ayaw na pagbintalan ako na. Pero na na po. Gusto ko talaga masap lang yung mga anak. Gusto ko lang sila. Yung dalawin mo lang ako yung natural na. Nagkakaiwalay di ba? Na pamilya pero dalawin pa din. Siguro nga dahil may mali nga din ako. Pinangungunahan ni Dulce ang isang fundraising concert upang makalikom ng perang pampagamot sa isang kapwa singer. Siya si Susan Fuentes, ang tinaguri ang Queen of Isayan Songs na nagpasikat ng usahay. Miss kita kung Christmas. Ilang linggo nang nakakonfine si Susan, kailangan niyang sumailalim muli sa kidney transplant. Reterado na sa professional singing si Susan, kumakanta lang daw siya sa simbahan. Kung saan niya nakilala at naging malapit kay Dulce. Alam na ganun ka, tindi yung kailangan na yun. Tiniis niya yun. So pumunta siyang bahay, magang-maga na siya talaga. Sobrang manas na na uh, nahihirapan na pa akong lumakad. Sabi ko itakbo niya na sa ospital. Uh, alas dos na yata siya natanggap sa ospital. Doon ako nanawagan na through Facebook na... Uh, hinihingi ko yung tulong ng mga anak niya. She's been trying to locate them sa Facebook. Kapit tinutulong ako. So, kaya lang din namin sila mahanap talaga. Actually, <laughs> nagpadala ng ano, tulong. Una, nagpadala ng 20,000. Kasi noong medyo iba na siya, sabi ko, I believe na higit doon sa karamdaman. Sa ngayon, malaking halaga ang kinakailangan ni Susan para sa kanyang operasyon. Naisip ni Dulce na magsagawa ng isang benefit show Nagaganapin sa Zirko Bar sa Martes na pinamagatang usahay. Fuentes' life story was featured in the GMA drama anthology Magpakailanman Ang Huling Awit ng Puso, The Susan Fuentes' Story as portrayed by Glyza De Castro and aired over GMA 7 on the 23rd March 2013. <laughs> Anong tama na? Magsisabu mo, tama na. Hindi iiwang kita. Ilalayo ko sa mga bata at hindi mo na sila makikita. <laughs> Dahil umabot na sa pagiging bisyo ang pagdudroga ni Susan, unti-unti na rin lumayo ang loob ng mga anak niya. Lulung na sa shabu si Susan ng mga panahong iyon. Nakapag-desisyon na ako. Total, puro pagsasyabu lang yun na atupag mo. Adalin ko sa probinsya ang mga bata. 
Fuentes died on the 7th September 2013 after a long confinement at National Kidney and Transplant Institute because of colon cancer. She was 58. In the next episode, we will post the video of the continuation of our visit of Manila North Cemetery and Libingan ng mga bayan here in Taguig. Later in this channel, we will also post more greater videos including Manila Memorial Park and Loyola Memorial Park in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. See you in our next Great Tour of the Famous episodes.